jump start. Tiny plant thoughtkers gears make it first off at the lights. Skip to navigation. Skip to content. Help using this website. Accessibility statement. JavaScript disabled. Please enable JavaScript to use my news, my clippings, my comments and user settings. My news, my clippings, my comments, my history, my benefits. Subscribe. Log in. Register. Personalize your news. Save articles to read later and custom ease settings. If you have trouble accessing our login form below, you can go to our login page. If you have trouble accessing our login form below, you can go to our login page. The Sydney Morning Herald. Environment weather. Climate change. Whale watch. Animals. Conservation. Water issues. Energy smart. Earth hour. You are here. Home environment weather article. Search SMH. Search in environment smh.com.o web environment jump start tiny plant thought curve gears make it first off at the lights weather date september 14 2013 zero read later mary kim tweet in it submit to reddit email article print sprung the plant thought crew has provided evidence that the powerful jumps of insects are made possible by interacting gears in the hind legs. Photo, courtesy of Malcolm Burroughs. Philadelphia, the jumping insect has gears. Scientists have discovered the rare instance in which man and nature independently converged on the same idea. It was not easy to verify. The plant thought crew is coleotratus is tiny, just a bit larger than a flea, and it jumps is extremely fast with an acceleration of 200 gs, a level close to the highest ever survived by a human. Close up, the intermeshing gears of the plan thought were photo, courtesy of Malcolm Burroughs. But neurobiologist Malcolm Burroughs and engineer Gregory Sutton, both of the University of Cambridge in England, used a high-speed camera attached to a microscope to capture the bugs in action. They put their tiny subjects on their backs on sticky wax and gently rubbed their bellies to provoke them to jump. Advertisement. They found that the insects have to fit gears at the base of their hind legs that intermesh and rotate to perfectly synchronize the timing of each limb's release during a jump. It's remarkable that these gears look so similar to the gears man has designed. Even the individual teeth are so similar, said Professor Burroughs, author of the study that was published online in the journal Science. Was this mechanism, the legs are locked and coupled together. The time delay from moving one leg to another is as short as 30 microseconds, or 30 millionths of a second, allowing the insects to leap faster and farther. Without synchronization, the insect's body will spin instead of going straight forward due to the orientation of its hind legs, Professor Burrow said. For example, using the most extreme case, a single-legged plant thought can only helplessly spin around in the same spot without getting anywhere. A normal two-legged insect will still be able to leap even when its timing is off, but precious energy is wasted on rotational motion instead of a straight-ahead trajectory. When fleeing a hungry predator, that lost distance could make the difference between reaching the safe branch and becoming dinner. Using a catapult mechanism, the legs are able to move very quickly. In preparation for a jump, the legs cock back similar to pulling the bullstring in archery. You suddenly let go and the arrow goes much faster than if you were to throw it directly, Professor Burrow said. The plant thought crews have gear strips on the base of either hind leg with about 10 teeth on each. However, like training wheels, the gears only exist in the nymphal stage before the insect becomes an adult. Eventually they mold away, with the adults using friction between two parts of their upper legs to synchronize their jumps instead. Gear-like structures previously seen in animals were merely ornamental. For instance, the spiny turtle, alternatively known as a cogwheel turtle, has a spiky-edged shell that makes it look like it is carrying a gear wheel flat on its back. It's a wonderful example of the exquisite use of mechanisms in nature that solve problems in a very simple way. University of California at Berkeley biologist Robert Full, who was not involved in the study, said, Professor Full's research focuses on nabbing ideas from animals for engineering and design inspiration. He discovered that geckos stick to walls using millions of tiny foot hairs, and labs have already been working on mimicking the lizard's extraordinary traits to create a man-made adhesion technology. Biologist Anna A. H. N. of Harvey Mudd College, who works in a similar field and was also not involved in the 